Hi all, this is Param. Uh, in this video, we will see what are the command line options are available. Okay. Obviously, we are going to do uh, set up Elasticsearch cluster that could be SaaS based or PaaS based okay. or um, what is that? Uh, Kubernetes based or like kind of VCK, right? Okay, that, that is container, container based. Okay, uh, or it could be a, a metal server, or it a metal server manually, or metal server with uh, automation or any automation tools like Ansible or something like that. So almost three, there are three, five types, three to five types are the, five, five, yeah, of course, yeah, five types are there. Okay, so in either way, okay, we should be familiar with uh, with these command line tools. At least when you are working with uh, when when you are doing setup in metal servers and uh, our metal server along with some automation tools okay but other perspective like if you are running kubernetes based cluster or pass based or saas based you may not need that that is what my understanding okay since i have done uh, two to three uh, uh, client setup on metal servers okay i used these command lines okay and I explained that uh, okay there are some some of the additional command line tools also in the used in version 8.1 Okay, but uh, I am not going to cover them. So, okay, but if you are interested, you can uh, check the detailed command and the other options are available. And of course, purpose of first for purpose of each command line tools. Okay, this is available in the command line in the online document itself. Okay, now let us go here. Okay, Elasticsearch. It's a very good one, very simple one. Okay, so we will start to start the any Elasticsearch instance, individual instance, not cluster. Okay, to start individual instance of Elasticsearch, you have to use the this command line tools okay of course it has several options okay uh, especially the thing is what is now you we will be uh, overriding that um, what configuration using the e flag okay that is what okay then cron evaluations okay it's very simple tools okay so obviously we will writing cron job what are the different places okay let's say in the heartbeat okay we will be specifying the where, where how often it has to be checked so there is current, yeah, current specific current syntax we can use the scheduler okay and the watcher also support the watcher also support the current uh, syntax to schedule to for scheduling uh, scheduling uh, watcher configurations okay and uh, similarly transformation transformation similarly machine learning job executions okay there are many ways are many places are there we can use uh, use the um, different syntax to scheduling okay you can use time uh, uh, timestamp literal value okay like one week two weeks one day two day two months something like that or you can use uh, if you said uh, or you can use a cron evaluation cron syntax as well okay cron you know right that is a linux scheduler okay so if you want to test before how it's working okay so if you want to debug that is the, okay this is what uh, cron evaluations okay just to debug and a test debug and the test cron syntax x okay and elasticsearch plugins of course you can see you can uh, to install any third party plugin or to list any uh, plugins or to remove any plugins okay this is how you, this uh, this uh, command line tool will be used. Okay, uh, obviously using that you can uh, you can uh, you can play you can manipulate all the CRUD operation of the plugins. Remove, add, delete, update, whatever you want, or, or upgrade whatever you want to do that. Okay, so uh, uh, fortunately, unfortunately, I have not done any uh, plugins. Uh, I have not the uh, see, I, I have not developed any plugins. In fact, okay, but um, the plugins may be a third party. You may bought for money. By uh, part for by money, or it, it can be the free to uh, free plugins, okay, open source plugins, okay. So plugin can be either types, okay. But you can manipulate the plugins in the each instance, not cluster level, okay. <laughs> cluster level, if you want to do that, is over. If you want to do any cluster level things, only the dynamic settings only you can do, okay. That that's all we will say. Cluster level settings or static level settings. Cluster uh, dynamic set all dynamic settings are cluster uh, cluster level you can apply, it, okay. But uh, these are the things that it has to be done in the individual instance level okay now um, then which i have set up password okay so since uh, metal uh, since it is metal uh, metal metal server metal server based clusters okay so earlier in i mean uh, i am talking about a 7.12 okay that times the elastic search is disabled by default okay if you want to enable you have to enable and you have to by you have to set up password for set up several 
ప్రీ బిల్ట్ యూజర్స్ ఓకే ప్రీ బిల్ట్ యూజర్ వన్ వన్ థింగ్ సీస్ ఎలాస్టిక్స్ అండ్ సూపర్ యూజర్ ఓకే దెన్ లాక్ స్టాష్ కిబానా యూజర్ కిబానా అడ్మిన్స్ ఓకే సారీ లాక్ స్టాష్ సిస్టమ్ కిబానా సిస్టమ్ హార్ట్ బీట్ సిస్టమ్స్ ఓకే సిమిలర్లీ సర్ సఫర్ అదర్ ఎయిట్ సెవెన్ సిక్స్ టు సెవెన్ సిక్స్ టు సెవెన్ బిల్ట్ ఇన్ యూజర్స్ ఆర్ దర్ ఓకే టు సెట్అప్ పాజిటివ్ ఆఫర్ ఆల్ దోస్ బిల్ట్ ఇన్ యూజర్స్ యూ విల్ బీ యూసింగ్ దిస్ కమాండ్ లైన్ ఓకే ద గుడ్ థింగ్స్ వాట్ ఇస్ నా ఇఫ్ యూ సెట్ ఇఫ్ యూ రన్ దిస్ కమాండ్ ఇన్ వన్ ఇన్స్టెన్స్ ఓకే అమాంగ్ ద క్లస్టర్ సో యూ హ్యావ్ ఫైవ్ నోట్ క్లస్టర్ ఓకే ఇఫ్ యూ ఆర్ రన్నింగ్ దిస్ కమాండ్ ఇన్ వన్ క్లస్టర్ ఓ సో వన్ ఇన్స్టెన్స్ ఓకే దెన్ ఆల్ ద నోట్స్ ఆల్ ద ఆల్ ద నోట్స్ ఇన్ డిఫరెంట్ క్లస్టర్స్ ఆర్ సింక్డ్ ఓకే దట్ ఈస్ వాట్ ఓకే దెన్ ఆఫ్ కోర్స్ ఇఫ్ యూ యూజర్స్ రైట్ uh if you want to see uh, for the elastic search uh, you once you installed you will be creating users right uh, user right okay so uh, to set up the built in users you, you are using this for command but if you want to create uh, any uh, new users okay for file based authentication or user to come okay let me say create new user uh, create new user okay create new user that is what very important okay okay so uh, we will be creating new user uh, for this uh, elastic search okay we, uh, for that we will be using any authentication uh, authentication rules there are 6 plus uh, authentication rules supported in fact okay uh, two things are uh, internal uh, okay that is file based and system and in uh, system based okay and the external can be 4 to 5 okay that the active directory ldaps and kerbos uh, something else also that saml okay there are several things are there okay there are several uh, yeah, external uh, realms also also supported internal realms also supported okay by the elast uh, okay fine uh, in either case if you want to create the user okay uh, and if you want to assign uh, if you want to create the user you can use two ways okay either you can use api okay or either you can use the command line tool that is the command line tool or you can use the kibana web screen okay kibana screen itself kibana app itself okay so either way almost three ways are there to create the users okay so one uh, for, for one, among the three way one way is command line tool that is uh, that is a uh, command here okay this one then okay i think these are the uh, command line tools we have i have used very often but but the, the remaining things are security based i'll tell you now how and let's say uh now in the in the and uh, even the uh, six star seven to seven eight eight dot version not bad so i want to say security is enabled by default okay so certification you know need to generate okay certification utility in the early case we have to generate power cells okay okay so uh, in in the recent version what is the certification are generated um, automatically even I, in the early videos i have shown what are the directory within the directory called certs within the con folders okay Uh, but uh, but in earlier version means you have to generate certification yourself so these are the, the uh, to generate certificate uh, even uh, some other options are there uh, uh, ce certification and some other certification also we can generate okay why i forgot all the options but but any security security any related uh, certificate generation or certification update something or security sign in in fact certificate sign in option also sign in operation also you will be using these command line tools okay of course there are four modes ca mode http mode cert modes ecsr mode so almost there are four type of uh, modes are there more four type of mode for certificate generations okay okay that's what okay and the key store okay very important okay i did i did the very key stores okay key stores kind of key value pair is kind of uh, block box okay this kind of key value pair okay now let's say uh, we are doing configuration in the elastic search dot oml file so okay, let's say username password of outlook server or username password of some external uh, integrations okay so obviously what is it we cannot store is username, username password as a plain english right so that anyone can access okay uh, so to avoid that can, uh, to avoiding uh, password or any other secret information uh, in plain english in the configuration file you can put them in the key store okay from the key store uh, using the variable name uh, using the key of the key store okay you can refer in, in your in your uh, file especially called elasticsearch.oml file okay that's how you are storing your key uh, uh, storing your uh, secret value in the key store okay using the key you are referring in that uh, actual uh, in, in your refer you in your configuration files so this is how it is it is hide okay so it is not it is not plain english okay otherwise what whoever can access to that linux box can they can see the password okay so to to work with such a black box that is what uh, to work such a, that the black box that is called uh, elastic key store but most of the elastic product support the key store 
file beat support file beat has file beat underscore key store keep on underscore key store okay similarly most of the tools are supported with this key, key store concept to be case of those in those configuration you may need to refer the you may need to put the password so instead of putting it directly in the plain english you can put in the key store and refer it that's uh, that's that so this is very important so very often we will be using this one okay then node of course it's a node management you can see the nodes roles if you want to change the uh, no, uh, remove node role node role uh, node uh, roles or change the role, uh, roles from uh, data to coordination coordinated to uh, ingest node something like that if you want to change the node roles you can use here and uh, any custom settings if you want to remove you can remove that okay uh, uh, right then uh, of course any uh, bootstraps okay unsafe bootstraps i think i think i forgot this options okay i answer okay and uh, then repurpose of the reno i mean as a re as a, yeah this is what kind of re, you know that re, repurpose okay it's very important i'll tell you what is repurpose okay say already you you declare a node as a machine learning node okay now you want to use that node of course assume that yeah, after one month or two months you removed your machine learning uh, jobs or oh, that is enough or your client says or customer says that that's fine you uh, we may not we may we may not need no more machine learning analytics then that times you can uh, use that node as for repurpose right so that is what here repurpose okay then detach clusters okay if you want to remove that uh, okay if you want to remove the uh, particular node from the cluster itself you can remove that well, let's say the particular node maybe goes down or that that particular node may go for uh, maybe used for some other purpose assume that you allocated six nodes or seven nodes that uh, after a while one or two months you are realizing yeah we no need the other all these no all uh, this many node then you can detach them right okay so that's what okay uh, okay so that that is what uh, this elastic node uh, comes uh, command line comes into play okay then this is for shirt this is for system key generations okay uh, and saml metadata of course of course i have not done saml integrations okay if you want to do saml integration that times you, you will be using this command line tools okay okay so that is what i want to cover here so i have covered uh, major usage of command line tools in the metal server okay in the, in the, in the, in the metal server uh, metal server cluster setups okay but remaining command, command line tools uh, of course still there are many things are there okay if you want to you can explore them so this is the this is the reference of the document you can you can see all the options here uh, all the command line tools options uh, for each line uh, each command line explains uh, different options also it is explained here okay uh, i hope you like the content uh, thank you thanks for watching so, okay if you like the content like my videos share your share your comments subscribe my channel share it to your friends